So, you guys wanted to see how I organized and arranged my binders. So here we are. Let's take a peek. So I have all of my recipes. I have cheat sheets. I have guides. I know a lot of you have the same things. Um, let's just start with the cheat sheets. This is my cheat sheet binder. And this is mostly filled with the top 10 that a lot of you are familiar with. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and added the ones that we have already done here in the club also to add to these. So in the front, I actually have just the regular poster thickness ones that are not in page protectors. And I've, I did a three ring, um, or I did a, a three hole punch for them to put them in my three ring binder. Um, and that's how they are. They're listed here alphabetically. And then I have a second set for um, the top 10 anyways. And these are all page protected grapefruits in there from January, but I don't have any extras of the February or March. So I literally have just the one copy of those. So that would be my cheat sheets. I have those separately. And then I have my recipes binder. I know some of you don't actually have the recipes binder kits. I will be getting those to you um, as soon as probably in April, maybe in May, depending on um, how much room I have in the envelopes to ship them but I have my carrier's information in the front. So here's what I have for January, February, March. And then I have the hydrosol information next. And these are, as you can tell, for those of you who don't have them, they're very thick and they're awesome. Three hole punched and put right in here. I can't believe five of you guys are still awake. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Hello everyone. And then I have some that are in page protectors also. And I actually started it out this way just so I could show you guys that you could do this either way. And then I ended up doubling it and adding both. So that's what I have in the front. Dog info here I have next. These are That's kind of the random information, right? And then I have the recipes. So all the rest of that you see here are the recipes. And these are pretty much doubled. So that's why some of you mentioned how thick they were. That's why. Except for allergies. This is all I have. I have one copy. Everyone else has all of the rest of them. I have one copy. So we have allergies. We have appetite. I have page protected. And then I have regular. We have anxiety and stress. And then we have, what's next? Congestion. And then we have low libido. I only have one copy of those two. And then we have sleep. So that's how I organize my main recipes binder. And yes, coming in April. So the very next VIP plus mail will include a binder kit, meaning the front, the side, and the back. Oops, it's telling me to rotate my phone. Anyways, the front, the side, and the back. Um, for hydrosols and carriers. So if you wanted to separate those out, since we're gonna be continuing those through the year, you absolutely can do that if you want to. And then finally, we have the guides. So this is my guides binder right here. And here's where I have all the guides. And this one, I have all of the, just the plain hole punched in the front. And then I have all of the ones that are page protected in the back. I don't do it every other one, like the recipes for some reason, that's just how it ended up being. Um, but that's how I have them organized. Just so you know, here's all of the other ones. Before the recipes club, we had six different ones that we did. And then this is the one for this month. So hopefully that helps answer questions, but what I would like to see is what you have set up. I saw Anna, she posted a picture of her arrangement, which was amazing. Love it, love it, love it. So if you guys wanna post pictures as well, how you are organizing it, I know some of you have everything in one binder, which works perfectly fine, I think for now. Even if you have pretty much everything, it probably could fit in a three inch at this point. Um, I know mine are in like three, three inch binders, but I have doubles of things too. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Cass, the question is really, ah, what am I doing awake? I know it's awful. It's awful. I, I've just, I'm generally just like a really major night owl and I'm trying to do better, but it's just the way it is. 
just the way it is. Um, yeah, so for hydrosols and carrier oils, plan on having that for April. I'm really excited about that. So, yay, then you can finally have your separate binders. So if you want to post your, um, your own arrangements, I would love to see what you guys have. Thanks, guys.